Many people seem to just love sour stuff. Well, at least some of us do. There's no denying that sour foods have been around for a long time. Thanks to this particularly practical, seemingly supernatural, and fantastically flavorful process called fermentation. The beauty of fermented foods is that they don't rot nearly as quickly as fresh foods. So a farmer can make his harvest last for much longer by fermenting some of his crops. All kinds of sour-tasting fermented foods can be found around the globe. Of course, there are other kinds of foods that don't need to ferment to taste sour and be nutritional. Your favorite citrus fruits, oranges, grapefruits, limes, and lemons. The truth is, scientists aren't actually sure how sour taste even works. We know where it happens. And we have some sort of idea about what the mechanics involved are like. But we're stumped and still have a lot more to figure out about the science of sour. This study aims to uncover the genetic basis for how we taste sour food. And to do so, we need your help. You, your family, and your friends are all invited to be a part of the Genetics of Taste Lab's Science of Sour study. It will only take 30 minutes. We will ask you a few questions, swab your cheek for DNA, and have you taste a series of sour samples. This is cutting-edge research, and we need your participation. If you are 18 years or older, or 8 to 17 with a legal guardian, you can join the study today. Just come to the Denver Museum of Nature and Science Genetics of Taste Lab. Science.